In this video, we'll find the oxidation number for iron here in this iron to bicarbonate. So to do this, the first thing we want to recognize, everything has to add up to zero. This is a neutral compound. There's no negative or positive sign after the whole thing. So all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. We also need to realize we have a polyatomic ion here. This is the bicarbonate ion. So when we have an ion like the bicarbonate ion here, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. So I know that all of the oxidation numbers here are going to equal one minus. Since I have two of them, I'll have two minus here. For everything to add up to zero for the whole compound, this has to be two plus. If we want to find the oxidation numbers for each element here in the bicarbonate ion, we can do that by looking up hydrogen. Hydrogen is always plus one when it's with nonmetals like carbon and oxygen. So one plus we don't know what carbon is. That's different depending on what it's bonded to. We'll call that X. Oxygen, always going to be minus two with just a few exceptions. And we have three of them. And we said since this is the bicarbonate ion with ions, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. All of this equals a minus one. So we have X, one plus minus six is minus five equals a minus one. Add five to both sides. X equals a positive Four. So the carbon here is going to be plus four. That's its oxidation number. We said hydrogen is plus one and the oxygen is minus two. So that's how you find the oxidation numbers for each element here in FeHCO32, iron two bicarbonate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.